Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21. And we're going to be carrying on with our PGA Tour career. And this is going to be episode 18, I believe. And it is the Wales Fargo Championship at the Quail Hollow Club. So, well, let's get into it and get going. This is another really nice course, this one. They've done another good job on this one. Hello and welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. Today's coverage of the Wells Fargo Championship is about to begin. Welcome to Quail Hollow Club. I'm Luke Elvey with my mate Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, this golf course really smacks you in the face straight out of the gates, doesn't it? 512 yards par four. Thank you very little. Dog leg to the right. Bunkers down on the left hand side. Only reserved for the long hitters, but the second shot to a very narrow green that sits down below the player. It's a very difficult opening hole. You make four here, you're pretty happy. Let's get down to the action. Okay, let's get going. Tell you what, let's have a little look around. Let's show you guys what the course looks like from up above. Very nice plot of land, this one. As I said, they've done an absolutely fantastic job on this as well. I think all the courses that I've done uh, for the career mode has done really, really well. Lovely big clubhouse as well. The grandstands and that. Look at that big clock there as well. Nice. I don't think I've actually had a look at this clubhouse before. You've got your tennis courts over there. Big swimming pool. Lovely entrance as well. That clubhouse is massive, isn't it? Look at the size of that. It must be like a hotel added onto it or something. And you've got some houses over here. God, look at these houses. What the heck? Imagine how much they cost. Lovely little sort of a weir or a dam there. Very nice. Nice little swimming pool in there as well. We've got one in this house as well. Look at that. That's, that's like one of them infinity pools. <laughs> Very nice. So as I said, just a quick look around. So a lot of you guys don't get to see this. I've seen a few complaints on um, Twitter about console players not having like a free cam mode and things like that. They, they should actually have one. Now that they've taken the flybys off as well, it's just pretty hard for these consoles guys to see the, the courses properly. But yeah, very nice to have done this course. As with all the two courses I think. Right let's get on to the tee and get this started. Okay what have we got here? Oh one is 458 yards. Let's try and hit a nice drive down here. A little bit of a slope. It's going to pull it a little bit to the right but it should be okay. to the green well below your feet it's always nice to see the ball fly to the hole okay 198 21 down so it's playing around about 191 190 with five iron four mile an hour wind against us that should be okay actually still going to get a bit of a run a little bit of a slope how's the green so the green is going right to the left that should be okay Looks to be going with the five iron. Okay, we've got the perfect. And that's not too bad. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. This putt coming up is for birdie. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> that is well off. Since I hit it, I knew. I might actually turn that commentating down just a little touch. It is a little bit high for me. It's probably going to be just about right level for you, but as I've said before, on YouTube, it seems to lower it for some reason when it's recorded. So let me just move it and turn it down just a little touch. What have we got it on? 25. 
Let's put it on to about 15. It's really hard trying to talk over the top of them. Right, what have we got here? A bit of a dog leg around to the left here, so I might just put a little bit of a draw on it. Just to try and hug this right hand side. Left hand side, should I say. Oh, touch of a slow, but it should be okay. Come on, pull up. Ooh, just thought it got into the light off there. That's not too bad. Right hand side of the fairway. Okay, 155, 16 up. So that is playing around about 160. Right. The 9 iron. Let's go in with the 8 iron. Pull it back just a touch. Going with the eight iron. Fingers crossed for good kick to the left. Ooh, that pushed well over to the right for some reason. Well, and we're in the bunker. With that one. A bit short with that effort. This would be a momentum okay, saver here getting this up and down. Here's my rival. Oh, and he's got it. Nice one. And he's on minus one. Okay. Well, nice. Yeah, I was going to actually do a video yesterday, but <laughs> I was watching YouTube and there's a martial arts guy that I like called Scott Atkins, and I found his channel. And he's doing a series with all the like 80 stars and all that. He interviews them and goes through the movies and things like that. And there's one guy, he's called Jeff Speakman. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie he did called The Perfect Weapon. I thought it was an absolutely fantastic movie, so he had an interview with him. It was really, really good to watch. And I ended up watching about four or five of these interviews last night. Really, really good. Okay, nice, straight down the centre of that. Okay, 191. Right, now this section here is going to be pretty tough. So we might have to end up going down this direction, so I might just bring this in again from the right. Just to try and stay away from going down here. I'm going in there with a 5 iron. But 5 mile an hour wind against us. Again, you're going to get that bit of run up, so I think we might be okay there. Opting oh, hit that line. a little bit slow again. It should be okay as long as it runs up. Yeah, that's right. Not bad. Okay, well, guys, just want to say thanks for all the support, all the likes, the all the comments. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I was just on Twitter there, and um, Crazy Canuck, if you haven't watched any Crazy Cook channels, but I'd imagine you have. If you're watching the golf, then you probably have. And he was just saying, let me just pop, pop this. All right, come on. Tracking. Is it going? Is it going? No, nope, just missed. Oh, 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 on that left hand side. Yeah, he was just saying um, on Twitter. Let me just get it up to have a look where it is. It's exactly what it was said. So, no movement there. He stays at even with the card. Uh, here it is. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. To the one guy, it's out of his way to just like my YouTube videos almost as soon as they come out. One, I applaud your dedication. Two, what did I do to make you do that? Let's chat. <laughs> no, I just put a comment in as well. I says, what was that? I says to him, I says, eh, I've had the same thing. Plus, there must be a sub with notifications on because as soon as you upload the video, within a minute or two, there's a dislike. And I just said, I just chuckle every time I see it now, which I do because I think it's happened to all of us because uh, Respawn Entertainment is another good YouTube guy as well who also streams. If you haven't watched him, watch him as well. He gets the same thing. I think it's the same person doing the rounds on all of us, to be honest. Uh, it's quite funny because as soon as I upload a video, within a minute or two, there's an instant dislike on it. But, but ah, each to their own, innit, I suppose. 
Okay, what we've got here, 165. Three ups, was playing 166. That wind is going to help us here, I think. Okay, we've got the perfect. It's turning, pretty nice. Yeah, that's not, not too bad. Yeah, so I think it's one person just going around all these um, content creators and hitting a dislike on any of the, the golf videos that go up. <laughs> oh, what a sad person. Oh, I can't believe that should have turned. Two birdies I've missed me just not concentrating on the putts. That's a string of pars we've had here. Hey guys, I'm over here on the ninth. This is Tony Finau's next shot. Tony Finau. And this putt's for birdie. Nice long putt. Oh, what a great stroke. And you hold it. What a monster. And with it, he moves to one under par. And he's minus one as well. So what we got? What's a little so bit of looking like? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Okay, Max Homer, minus three. Sam Burns, minus three. Patrick Reed, minus three. And Justin Thomas, minus three after four. It's time to begin this so I'm going to have to hole. pick it up a bit here. I'm going to have to start getting some birdies. Nice. Ping! Get in there. Oh yeah, I was talking last time, last video, about the graphics cards situation. I'm going to go to the 38, but I was actually holding off until the 20 gigabyte version was released. But, a couple of days ago, it's come out that they have now cancelled the 20 gigabyte version. Which is a bit of a shame. Let me, let me see here. We've got 145, 16 ups. So it's playing around about 150. With a 9 iron. So that should be good about there, I reckon. A little bit of a fast. Yeah, so they've cancelled the 20 gigabyte version and the 16 gigabyte version of the 3070. So I think I'm probably just going to go for the 38 and the 10 gigabyte. Now, there is still a big gap between the 3080 and the 3090. You're talking about, what, 700? No. Yeah, about 700 pounds difference between the 3080 and the 3090. So is that still that massive gap there? And a lot of people thinking that they are going to bring out a 3080 Ti, but the way I see it, if I keep holding off and holding off and holding off, you could be doing that for... A long time on PC because there's always better things coming out. So I think I'm just going to bite the bullet to get the 38 when I can get a hold of one. But again, on the 28th, AMD are going to be bringing their cards out. Uh, but the only problem there is I've had one bad experience with um, AMD, and I always said this was about 10, 12 years ago. And I always said I'd never go back to them. That's why I've always been an Nvidia. Uh, graphics card user so I probably will still doesn't matter what the prices are going to be or how well they perform I think I'm still going to go with the Nvidia okay 253 29 down so it's playing around about 243 with 248 going in now with the three wood ooh, 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 ooh. so we're going to have to go with the three wood and bring it back a touch I think yeah, let's try that Oh, oh nice, we get the perfect. That's going right towards it. Might be a little bit right. Oh, I could have pulled that back just a touch more actually. Still haven't had a home one yet. Okay, 21 feet. It's only 6 inches down. It says 1 foot there. Alright, so what is it? 21. Come on, that's turning. Ah, oh, it's turning too much again. Oh, so just missed it on that left hand side. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. So take the part. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Now three strokes back after that hole. Patrick Reed in the lead. Here on the seventh. Okay, par five. Let's see if we can do a bit of damage here. Let's see if we can get. 539, it's played 529, it should reach the green too here. Hey, if we get a nice one. I love those little tea boxes, look at that, little tea pegs, little carriages, very nice. 
Oh, crap. Big fast. Come on, hold the fairway for me. Nice. A little bit of a kick there to the right. Okay, we got lucky with that. John, give us an update. What's shaking? I'm down here following Tony Fina on the 12th hole. Oh, it's got a big turn on that one. He's got it. Nice. And with that putt hold, it's back to back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Okay, 221. Just back from the leader. Right, four hybrid. Four iron. Could have to go with a four hybrid. Again, don't like coming in over the top of this bunker here in case I hit a slow. So again, what I might do is bring it in from the left-hand side this time. Okay, we get the perfect. It's turning nice. Oh yes, that's nice. Just missed the bunker there. Oh, it's caught a slope though. Damn. That is going to be one huge putt. But again, it is a par 5. So hopefully we can get up there, get it close and pick up the birdie. That's huge. That is a massive putt. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Oh, oh, Always oh, like oh. the aggressive play. Going for it in two right, and get we'll rewarded for it. I spot the top 5 on the line here. Yeah, it's right about, it is about 37. So yeah, it's about 3 feet up. <laughs> that is a lot. Okay, 75. It's going to turn quite a bit right to left here. Do you guys need to get this up here, get it close? Oh, it's turning nice. Oh, we're a bit short. Come on. Never quite hit that. This is still quite a tough putt for the, the birdie. On the leaderboard? Well, let's hold this putt. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Yes, nice. That was a nice birdie. And that will drop in for okay, two under. Oh, here he comes into the top ten with a two point. behind Henrik Stenson. Where did he come from? And now teeing off on this par four hole. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. Oh, a bit of a fast again, but we did move over to the right. It should be okay. Might kick to the right here. Come on, stay away from the bunker. That's okay. That's going to be fine. A couple under at this stage. Currently tied for nine. Okay, 47. Seven up. Let's just come down with the angle attack there. Just try and get it stopped out a little bit quicker. Oh shit, that was a massive fast. That was... Oof. Can pop from the fringe though, so we're probably going to put it here. Always lovely to see a long range bomb made. Let's recap it. Oh, nice. What a nice putt. Getting ready to play their third. Just yeah, I think we'll put this. Oh crap, just missed again. Just shaving the edge of these holes. Uh oh, that's caught a slope, I think. Come on, ball, stop. Ooh, this is for Paul. Well, guys, he's got about 21 feet to go here. Come on. Oh, come on. So that drops Bogey us down to minus one. Here. Bogey. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. He's currently tied for 15th. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. We have a par five on this one. Oh, shit. Fast again. Come on. Hit a bump. Go on. No. <laughs> it's in the heavy stuff as well. Not good. Uh, that's not the shot they wanted. Okay, well, 78. Which, I'm being honest. This lie is 25%. I think I will 
just stick with the four iron actually because it drops right down to 77% if we've got the four hybrid. And again. Ooh, 248. Do you know what? I might just smash the three wood up here. But again, we're going to have to come in because that branch is sticking right in the way there. So we're going to have to come in from the, the right hand side, it looks like. Get a bit of a fast. Oh, get up there. That's actually worked out better than I thought. Well, That's nice, we're on the green for two. Game in pure fashion there. Right, we've got a little Two bit of right to left there, movement and, and some left to right movement. For Eagle here. So I think, let's try this. It should turn Did back in. Hole. Come on. Oh yes, Eagle. What an eagle. I will take that. Takes us down at minus three. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Nice one. That's not a bad eagle. Tell you what, I had a, a little practice round before I came on actually. So I'm surprised I'm not hitting the temple quite as well. Here we and go, it was Rich, called Guido's Isle. Beautiful so course. I'm going to have to do a yeah, video on it. Yeah, they're playing well right now. They're inside the top ten. And they're looking to continue that move up the leaderboard. And I had two eagles on it. From like 150 yards out. Just going in with an approach shot. One of them actually bounced on the green and then bounce straight in the hole. I was like, oh, that was lovely. I actually saved it as well. Nice ting, get in now. Get in now, smooth up. Straight down the middle. Is this par five? It's pretty long, I didn't even look. Oh, and it's left us well, right on the map slope here. On the Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Matt mm. Kuch with a fantastic shot. Out of bunker there with a, a wood. Could have been a little hybrid. 165 well, yards. That was an absolute beauty, Rich. And back to the course with the live action. Okay, here's a par five. Sitting at three under par. Right, again, this Time tree, because of the slope we're on, this tree might come into play because of the wind as well. So again, I think I'm going to come in from the left hand side here. Three wood. All right, let's try that. Well, this is a good risk. Touch of a slow. Looks like they're taking plenty of risk here. Going for the green. Oh, oh, that could have been so good. Damn. Not a bad effort though. So we still and should be able to splash it up and shot. hopefully take Only two shots off the pace. The birdie, come on. Well, he's back on the surface, happy to have the flat stick in hand. And a chance to move into a tie for second here. No, that sounds hell of a quick. Ah, oh, damn, that's quite a few Seven missed putts we've had. Cup. Well, not missed putts, but just not reading them properly. We're still three under, so it's not too bad. We're only a couple behind. Henrik Stenson, Justin Thomas, Patrick Reed. Nice group of guys there at the top. You've reached the eleventh hole, and the tee is yours. Except for Patrick Reed, not many people like him. <laughs> That's a touch of the nice. couples with the right perfect. There. I don't know if you guys like Hunt or Call the Wild, so I'm thinking of doing a couple of videos on that. I did a hunt yesterday. Oh, what a hunt. Oh, I played it for about two hours as well. And I got a Diamond Axis Deer, a Albino Water Buffalo, and two Dilute Mule Deers. Now, they look slightly just off the colour of an Albino. They're like a white and grey colour. Really nice. That was all within two hours as well. So I've got a Diamond, an Albino, and two Dilutes. And I, I wish I recorded it, I really do. Okay, 168, 20 up, so it's playing on about 175 ish. 7 iron. 
six iron. Yeah, yeah let's go with the six iron. Opting for the six iron. Touch of a slow that. That should stick pretty good, and it has. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Get in. Go on. Oh, attempt. you And with that, you can Back. go and put a par on the car. <laughs> that should have been a birdie. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Just two shots. Just caught the edge of the lip there. So I'm only two behind. Taking off here on the 12th hole. Oh, we're pretty thin down here. Slight fast again. Oh, and I was pulling over to the left. Come on. Kick, 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 kick. Almost. That's a bit out of shape. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay from earlier. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Again, the generic irons and wedges that give these guys. I wish, I've said this before, I wish they would give them the real clubs. Oh, that's a sensational oh, that's nice. moment. Mark that down as a highlight today. Minus four. Let's get back to it, shall we? John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this Ooh, line? It's light rough, we're in 95 to 100%. The first that's not bad, actually. Sitting up pretty good. So, okay, this is playing 130. With that wind, we should be good just going straight at it then. Okay, we're perfect. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Alright, hold up. Come on. Ah, oh, it's going to trickle off onto the fringe. Just off the back. Look. Unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Oh, that was a rock. nasty pin. Go on, go on. Did that look oh. for a long time? So close to quite a lot of them now. Just Five drop. Coming up to the cup. Oh, Ooh, come on. Right and this next putt. It's for bogey. I actually hesitated on that putt. I didn't know whether to hit it a little bit harder or not. On the back swing, and I should have just stopped. Shots after that hole. And done it again. We are in front Damn. Of par three. Right. Right, 210, 9 down. So it's playing 27, 207. Going in there with a 5 iron. Should be good. Just going right at it, I think. Going with the five iron here. Oh, I'm loving these irons. I'm quite glad I've actually changed back, you know. The these are the uh, tailor-made P790s that I'm using. Lovely set of irons. Oh, that is nice. All right, come on. Still looks like it's going to be quite a tough putt, though. Right to left one. Shot. A chance for birdie here on the 13th. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Okay, Gooch. What we'll you can do here? There's been so much great golf played here today. Bloody hell. Head back to the 14th for this wonderful shot. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. These are tough little putts. Come on, it's get in now. Yes. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. Okay, back and to minus we'll three. Take, we'll move to three under par. Two behind him extends. fourth position. Getting closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, and this is getting interesting. Still got quite a few holes to go, so got a good chance. Okay, right. Could go on the green here for a nice one. Oh, he's sweet as a nut. Come on. Uh, I'll kick off this fairway. Off fairway. Come on, kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick, kick. Oh, shit. So close. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Come on. Okay, we get perfect. That's going to hold up lovely. Yes, another birdie coming in. Nicely done. What an opportunity to make a birdie. 
Okay, doing well. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Justin Thomas is at the top of the leaderboard. Oh, JT. -shot lead. Two shots ahead. And after a birdie at the last, he'll take the honour on the hole. Okay, another par five. And this one is 515, so it's pretty short. Let's see if we just cut this corner here. That T looks a bit. Oh, it is, look. Bit of a slant on it. Oh, slices shit. Like Massive slope. I like slices of pumpkin bread. Oh, that's terrible. Second shot here on the 15th. So, let's just whack this up to three words and just smash one. Should uh -oh, make it. No! That should have made it over there. Damn it. Sitting at minus four. Didn't Turn think of that one. For fourth place. Oh, bloody hell. Right, 208. 36 up. So it's playing 220. Right. You need to get up there and get the get the par here. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh for the crap. Home, I think. Slow. This one could take a little bounce to the left. And we're off the green, so this is going to be a bogey. It's going to drop us down again. Not, not good. Sure if that's what they're intending to do. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not um, bad though. I think I'm going to go with a pitch shot here. Let's bring it right back. Fast. Oh crap. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Ooh, this nice might here. be a double. This is tough, this is gonna turn pretty quick and I don't want it over hit it because it will just go right back off the green. Oh crap. No oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Double. That's dropped his right down. Well, at least you're not putting for triple. Let's make this for double. I like the look of this. Two right, under. double bogey. Few holes to go. Damn. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Time for the fifth shot. And it's not actually my drives and... Well, mind you, I did go into the rough on that drive and then into the wall. But, it's mainly my putting that's letting down on the course today. What a way to make your part. Minus three. Check this out. Pulling it out from the fairway. But that was for par. Great shot. Ah, got no chance now. Justin and Thomas Justin minus Thomas seven. Totally leads the field. As you find your way to the 16th hole at Quail Hollow Club, you're reminded that you're entering the Green Mile. Again, only the long players right, can put a little bit of fade on that. Down the right hand side. Hit it out. Oh, to the left and nice. That bunker and give yourself the best opportunity to find the green in two. Looks like this one's hitting safely for the fairway. I didn't think about it. It actually looked like it went through the tree on the left. Just has come off the tee box there. Okay, 176. 15 down, so playing around about 171. Quite a bit of a slope here as well. And the wind. Going with the seven. Oh, shit. Massive slow again. This one should find the rough. Didn't actually feel like a, a slow there, to be honest. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. Oh, he's got it. Oh, Rich, a shot for the ages. Not Little bad, two under. Here. Oh, yes, what a result. Fantastically played. Again. Sitting at two Ooh, under par, pitch shot, yep. trying to break into the top ten. Oh, a bit of a fast again. Let's hope to pick up the par here. This is a par par.
Come on. Oh, get the par. Nice save. Eight under. Bloody hell. You've got to hit a number of big boy shots here at Quail Hollow Club, and none bigger than the tee shot at the path 317. Okay, 216, 19 Time down. So it's playing around about 200. The best swing of the day on so this I think we're going to go in there with a four iron. Find the center of the green, and you're a happy player. Come on, let's see if we get a good one here. Yeah. Oh, for the here. that's bad. Again, didn't feel like that much of a slow that I hit there. That's not the outcome they were after. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Another fast. That tempo's a little bit all over the place today, guys. Sorry about that. And like I said, I had I actually had a practice round for a come on and I was playing pretty well. Oh, this is a long way from downtown. Oh, but that's closer. nasty. There's another bowie coming up. Well, this looks like about twenty-eight feet. Or is it? Or is it? <gasps> you oh, just missed. <clears throat> this is a bogey putt coming up. Down to minus one. That's not good. Look at that. Bogey, bogey, double bogey. A four -stroke advantage. Nine under. Justin well, Thomas. The worst of it after playing the 17th okay, 18th. Club, think again. Let's see if we get a nice one here. Come on. Yes, water going all the way down the left-hand side of this fairway. That bunker on the right has crippled Touch many of a, a slow. player. Find the fairway. Stay on the fairway. An opportunity to find the green <laughs> I remember in the preview event I played this and... I actually hit a massive fast and ended up in the, the little, this little stream here. Okay, 181, 13 up, so it's playing around about 185. I think we should be good just going straight in there. As long as we hit a nice one, come on. And we get the perfect. It's turned quite this a bit though. To kick left. Okay, I'm just going to jump and get a screenshot here, guys, for the thumbnail. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. Just give me a second. Chance to shoot under par here. Make this for seventy. And turn off the putting grid. Okay, let's have a look from over here. That'll do. Get the clubhouse in. Get a little stream in. Yeah, that'll do that, I think. Let's get a little bit of the clubhouse in. There we go. Let's just take two. Right, there we go. Let's get the green grids back on. Right, can we get a birdie on the last? We've got 21 feet, 3 inches up. Come on. Come on, come on, yes. At least we got a birdie on the last hole. Minus two. Not very good there. That was what? Two bogeys and a double bogey. It was okay. It, it wasn't great by any stretch of the imagination, but when you finish top 20, you're still playing some good golf. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, totally agree. Justin Thomas dropped two shots there on the 18th, it looks like. He was minus nine. So it's five shots behind. But as I said, a lot of trouble on the greens there. Oh, look, we've got Ricky Fowler down there as well. I haven't seen him on one of the leaderboards for a while. Justin Rose, Adam Scott, Henrik Stenson. Good bunch of guys up there. Anyway, guys, that was Wells Fargo Championship. Sorry I didn't play a little bit better. Minus two, but you can't win them all. But I did enjoy it. Okay, what do we get here? Oh, yeah, by the way, look. I've hit level 100. <laughs> and that's our rival. So again, next one up is, let's have a look, see what the next one is.
Golf Club Championship at the Quero Valley Golf Course. That's another nice course. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.